Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Dominique Renee, and I am back with another video. I do sincerely apologize for uploading so late. I know I said that I was going to be more consistent and stick to uploading on Thursdays, but y'all, to be honest, Thursday I was a little occupied and I was getting my hair done. Can't wait to take off this bunny and show y'all, but guys if you like this bonnet it is a very nice bonnet when i take it off i will show y'all it is a reversible bonnet so i'm going to show y'all the color that's on the inside and guys you know we love to support black businesses so this was purchased from a black owned business and i will include all of that in the description box just in case you want to get one she makes do rags bonnets for men and women and kids so if you guys you guys should definitely check out her website she even posts youtube videos as well and if i'm not mistaken she has a video up on how to make a bunny so be sure to check that out as well it does have an adjustable string in it it's probably at the back but y'all this is the perfect size i am going to show y'all my hairstyle now so i do have braids and i did have all those braids in there so it's a nice size, just to be honest. It's like when I have my real hair, I just simply tighten it up and it keeps it nice and snug on my head and I kind of just loosen it up so I can fit all of my braids inside. And this is the inside of it. I think this is the satin bonnet, if I'm not mistaken. So it's this nice chocolate color on one side and in the inside it is oh no this is the inside guys i'm sorry on the outside it is this nice rose color so if you want to wear it this side you definitely can and on this side you definitely can super affordable super cute and i absolutely love it um when i do wear my real hair it does keep my hair from drying out unlike you know your cotton pillow um cases do so if you're sleeping with a bonnet that's not silk or satin and your hair is drying out because of your pillowcase because it is nine times out of ten cotton or maybe you have satin or silk pillow cases who knows but if you don't have something that is protecting your hair from your harsh cotton pillow cases and your sheets be sure to check out this company i will include that below once again in her contact information it is like i said black owned and she does make them by hand so shipping may take a while it didn't take more than two weeks for my order to get here but that was months ago when I ordered, probably closer to the beginning of the year when I ordered this bunny. Um, this video, lost my train of thought. This will be an update on my last update on Coda Skin for now. Um, here's a look at my skin. I'm going to get up close and personal so you guys can actually see. So this is we this is where we are after using Coda Skin products for approximately a little over a month. I started using it, I want to say in September, but for sure my last day was October 31st. You can check out the previous three videos that I have posted. I'm for sure I mentioned the start date in there. I actually did an initial wash day and the first day I got it the first day. So that'll be the very first day. So whatever that video, whatever day that video was posted is the day I began using the products. So why did I stop using them? Okay, the first issue I was having was as it got colder and colder and as the temperatures began to drop outside, I noticed the moisturizer wasn't doing enough and it wasn't keeping my skin as moisturize as it should i began to get really really bad dry spots and it just was hideous so i ended up having 
to just basically stop using that moisturizer and go back to like a moisturizing um crap oh my gosh y'all I just had a brain for I went back to a moisturizer a more how would I have said a moisturizer that I've used in the past that I know was good um so I sit I switched back to Cetaphil that's because I could pick it up at any store so any Walgreens CVS or Wal Walgreens CVS Walmart Target everywhere has Cetaphil so I switched back to just the Cetaphil moisturizer that you can use on your skin you can really use it all your entire body so I switched back to that because I've known in the past that it has been really good in keeping my skin moisturized through the colder months so in the meantime of me doing that I did do some research and found out some things about another product line that I'm looking to try so I did order that I will be giving y'all the details in a full detail video about that line once it arrives I do have two of the products now but the other I think four there are four more they are on their way and they should arrive on the 10th of this month so not too far away but what have I been doing since then to my skin I actually just switched back to doing a steam cleans on my face so I would steam my towel and I would just wash it at the end of the day or in the beginning of the morning and moisturize and that has been working for me right now as I transition from one product to the next product. Um, I just see no point to keep using Coda Skin and I knew it wasn't working. Another thing is that I had to pay attention to was, was my dark spots actually changing much? So I posted a two week update video and I gave y'all a view of my skin and I took some pictures in my own phone. So as in the month mark approach, I went back and looked at the pictures and did a little comparison of my own. And I noticed that over that two week period, um, my skin didn't really show any changes. I did take into the account that it has gotten cooler outside and my skin has started to lighten back up because I'm no longer in the sun constantly. So I don't have that darker shade on my face. So I did take that into consideration that, okay, maybe your skin is lighter. So your dark spots are more pigmented now and they're more noticeable because the skin is getting light. Unfortunately, that really wasn't the case. I mean, it just wasn't. They are kind of at the same stage that they were two weeks ago or a little over two weeks ago. When my face now today is at the same stage it was in the last video. Don't get me wrong, my skin overall, it does appear to be smooth or it did appear to be smooth when I was using it. It's just the moment I started seeing so many dry patches and stuff like that it kind of just mm -mm. just because once my skin starts to go bad it goes really bad so I'm usually really really good at switching because I have dealt with acne dry skin I've dealt with a lot of skin issues already and just wasn't feeling it so I did stop using it I do have the products still I actually I'm probably going to give them away to someone else to see if they can use them and they work for them because at first they were working for me but after a period of time they no longer worked for me and you know that's cool it's nothing harsh to that brand it's literally life some things work and something doesn't you do have to give things time but I mean it is what it is no no lost money because I did enjoy it and I was very excited when I did see some results I mean I probably would honestly continue to try it out and continue to try to be hopeful for results with the brightening of my dark spots if I didn't have dry patches and 
I mean, throughout the day, it's a little bit hard for me to remember, hey, go look in the mirror and see if your skin is dried out or feel your skin because I do be occupied most of the day either with work, school, work, or in class. So I don't really think, but when I do notice, I'm like, oh man. So typically, like I said, my morning starts off at seven in the morning and by 11 when I'm getting ready to go to my first class, I would have had just put on facial moisturizer and I would be ready to walk out the door and my face would be dry. Like, it was definitely time to put on some more. And I'm not the person that really carries a lot of stuff around in my bag because I could potentially leave it in the car or just take it out, use it and forget it. And once I leave something in a car, if y'all don't already know from me leaving my eyelashes in the car, I don't really like going back to my car after I have made it upstairs. I'm definitely the type that'll get it the next day or you know, the next time I drive my car just because I'm lazy to be honest, that's the only reason. But y'all, my skin does look good and I did see some improvements from when I made my first video to now. I'm just not completely satisfied. I wanted to see more and I kind of expected to see more being on the results that I looked at. I know everybody's skin is not the same and some things work better for some people quicker than it does others. I'm just kind of to the point where I wanted to try something new. So stay tuned for that next skin care thing. I know it's a little bit early to start a new product right after finishing or switching, but I mean, I feel like the time that the product will arrive, it'll be two weeks since I stopped using Coda Skin. So that'll be good, a, a good enough amount of time to start using something else. The products that I, let's see guys, if I can look it up. Oh, uh, I don't have my phone next to me, but I purchased some products from Sephora and they were on, it was, you know, the 20% off. I did use that coupon. So everything came out to be around 270 So I did spend a lot more money, but sometimes you have to spend money to get what you want. And I'm kind of at that point that I didn't mind spending the money to get what I want. Um, how did I hear about the new line that I'm starting? My mom's friend introduced me to the line. She came down and I kind of was telling her the different problems that I was having with Coda Skin and basically she helped me. We went to Ulta and then we went to Sephora and we read some products and we figured out basically from there what would probably be best and then I went home and did some more research before I made up my mind between the two lines. So. I'm not telling y'all the lines because I kind of want to just show y'all when I get the stuff and that'll be another video. So yeah, I kind of went and looked it up and I figured that was the best choice. So I'm really hoping and praying that I do see great results from that skincare line and maybe we can nip some of this in the bud. I mean, if we can't, everything will still be well. I still will continue out my normally daily routine of life with dark spots or with dark spots it doesn't matter to me that much I guess in a sense because it's something that I've had for a while I just want to know is there really a product out there that can clear this all up I mean I know it is but the thing is on a journey to finding it and that's where I'm at now my dermatologist has recommended that I do like the laser treatment to remove them and I'm not really into that I mean that's like a cosmetic procedure and that means I would have to schedule an appointment appointment pay money and I'm just not gonna do that by the time I do all that I probably would have been be out of way more money than I would by finding the perfect product that works because those things are, you can't just get one laser treatment to remove dark spots and they completely be gone. Doesn't work like that. I did um, 
my dermatologist my dermatologist does have an esthetician that works in the office but my mother and my sister recently got a chemical pill there and their skin did not react very well to it i would say so that's why i didn't go that route i mean there are some great estheticians and i would love a chemical pill but I kind of have steered away from those aspects of life for now and I'm just more focused on something that I can do in an everyday routine that works so I know the next time I have a breakout because they do come and it's something that has been coming for a while now. Um, I want to know I can get this product and it will nip it in the bud. No problems asked. No questions asked. That is it. So. This video has gone way over what I expected. Okay guys, so my camera did kind of run out of storage on this memory card, so I had to switch that out. But as I was saying, this video has ran longer than I expected it to run. I don't know what's wrong. I do sound really weird. No, I'm not sleep. I'm not sick. Um, I did just wake up not too long ago. I worked my first job this morning and I'm going to go work 10 hours overnight now. And that is that. Um, what else do I have to say? That's about it. Also, I am going to be documenting um, what I eat on this journey because I hate to admit, I hate to admit this. What you eat and what you put in your body shows on the outside. So I'm going to try to be mindful of all the sweets, the caffeine, and everything I intake because that also could be playing a very, very large part in my skin and breakouts. I mean, it can be. Y'all honestly know it is. I just can't stop sometimes and my unhealthy eating. So, you know. That's something that I am going to document and try to work on. And I'm also going to go on a diet where I am. I've actually already started, but that's something for another video. It's been a hard, I think this is seven days. So seven days in and I'm struggling already. So this will be an interesting rest of the month. But y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you for your support. Don't forget to go follow me on social media. If you haven't subscribed and you watched this entire video, please do your girl a favor and subscribe. Thank you guys for all of the support, the questions, the likes, the comments. I don't mind answering anything. Um, I'm totally available, even if I'm not available. So you can DM me on any social media if you have any questions. You can comment down below whatever you want to do if I can answer the question I'm more than happy to answer it so thank you guys again and until I get something else up next Thursday I shall see y'all later thank you for tuning in